So today I want to talk about facing your fears. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Stein and today I want to talk about facing your fears. This is something that all of us struggle with. It's something that all of us are desperately in need of learning and growing uh, more capable of doing on a regular basis. And I'm not talking about fear of spiders, fear of death, fear of someone being under your bed or fear of losing your job. What I'm talking about is facing the things in your life that, that are important and that are necessary for uh, you or I to grow as a human being. And this is coming out of my own experience uh, this week where uh, I was in a situation that I wish I, it could have been avoided. I wish I, it hadn't happened to me. I wish that, uh, that, that honestly that I didn't have to deal with some things. And, 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 all, and, and a lot of the beginning of these types of things are often inconveniences or a cancellation or something that happens that's out of my control that happens that puts me off or, or it causes problems with someone else. Now, facing your fear in this context is facing something that you know needs address, addressing, you know that it needs to be fixed. Maybe if it's, if it's in a relationship, it needs to be talked out between you and the other person. And, these types of situations cause me fear. They cause me anxiety because I know that they're awkward. But I know the things, the, the way to fix things is to communicate and to address them head on. Not in an antagonistic way or a, a, an escalated way, but in a way that's helpful. Now, how does this fit into the music industry? How does this fit into an independent recording artist or you maybe watching from home? Well, we all need to do things that are important, and oftentimes those things are difficult. Those things are going to cause us pain. They're going to be inconveniences for us. If we do them, maybe they'll cost us money. And I want to encourage you that in the same way that if you had a falling out with a brother or a sister or your parents or a colleague, or if you had an issue with your car, and you're going to, you, 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 you address them head on. If you have a problem with your car, you're going to take it to a mechanic, hopefully. Or you can expect that the car is not going to work. If you have a falling out with a parent or a child or brother, you're going to go to that person because you care about them and you're going to speak to them and try to communicate or at least come to an understanding about what, about boundaries or whatnot. But with the recording artist, it's a little bit different because it's, it's about art. It's about what, you want to create about what I want to create. And oftentimes we get comfortable. We don't do the things that we ought to do. We get in ruts. We feel like, I feel like sometimes I'm kind of doing the same thing. And that's because I'm afraid of stepping out, of trying new things, of maybe putting myself in a situation that's uncomfortable. Because we all want to avoid that, I think, to some extent. What I'm learning is, is that every, every hard situation that I'm put in, whether that's in my personal life or professionally or even in my music, it could be a setback, it could be an inconvenience, or it could be an opportunity to grow. And I know that this is kind of a strange way of thinking about this. But every time you or I face a difficulty, it allows us to either grow or to be discouraged and set back. If you listen to any success story, if you listen to anybody that you respect tell their story, it's going to be filled with setbacks. Oh, this redirected me here, or this taught me a new skill, or this relationship failed and, and I tried to save it, but I thought that was the one person that I needed or my spouse or whatever, and, and it redirected me to this or all of these different stories you'll see if you pay attention have tremendous amount of setbacks. And it's oftentimes those setbacks are ways to grow and develop as a, as a person, as an artist, as a spouse, as, as a colleague. I encourage you this week. Uh, I, 
I honestly have been facing some some difficult scenarios, difficult that require wisdom and and decision making and and quite frankly honesty and bravery to face. Issues that are not necessarily things that I want to deal with, but I'm starting to see that when I address them head on, and even though it's uncomfortable, even though I face those things, it's often there that the change that I want all along is coming from. It, it, it's an opportunity to, to develop. It's an opportunity to be challenged. It's an opportunity to be better. Why not apply this to being an independent artist? As we continue to make music, as we continue to develop our skills and, you know, people say hone your craft, whatnot, it's not just sitting in the basement and putting the hours in. It's oftentimes in the places where we feel uncomfortable that we address, that we step into it, we lean into it, and we, and we embrace it and uh, um, embrace the uncertainty, embrace the uncomfortable feelings, and that is where we grow. That is where I grow. I just encourage you to uh, think of it that way. Don't see your problems, don't see your setbacks as setbacks or problems. See them as opportunities to develop, opportunities to grow, because it's there that we often uh, grow the most. It's not in our victories. If you get a record deal tomorrow, it's not going to grow you as a person. It may be a nice payoff, but it's not going to develop you. Setbacks, hardships, don't go looking for them, obviously, but use them to your advantage. Use them to teach and to grow and develop yourself. That's my lesson. That's my lesson this week, and, I, and it's coming from my own experience. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. If you think that, uh, or maybe even share a story with, with, with people who watch this in the comments. Something that you thought was a setback, but it's not. And now looking back, you see how much, how, how important it was to your development or to your growth. I think that'd be a big encouragement to all of us, especially me. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, always, as always, thank you for listening. I really appreciate your support, and uh, we'll see you again next time.